It's the evening of January 1st, 2023, and I wanted to take a moment to just address a question I always get. What do I build? How do I become a great engineer? How do I become a good engineer? Am I doing the right side projects? Now, I know tons of you ask this question. I know you're probably thinking it right now. And I wanted to take this question apart, and even more so, I wanted to take a really steamy hot take, saying that side projects can prevent and even cure burnout. I know. <laughs> That's... A little spicy. I can guarantee you right now there's people already typing out a comment. You don't even know the situation. They're already upset, okay? They're already angry. But just give me one minute and I'll explain my reasoning. First, let me address just how I choose to build something because I think this is really important. I choose what I want to build based off three items. One, I want to pick something that at its core makes me excited. It's something I don't understand. It's something that drives my curiosity. When I look at it, I'm like, wow, what is that all about? Or it can just simply be a challenge. Right now I'm building Vim Royale, the greatest battle royale ever created. And it's all in Rust from the front end to the back because I'm curious about Wasm. I'm curious about can Rust be full stack? And so, of course, I'm going to drive that curiosity. I'm going to do it because it makes me excited. Which leads me to number two. What's the benefit? Define the benefit. And here's the deal. The benefit can be simple as I just need to build more because at the root of every senior engineer is the experience of seeing a problem from multiple angles. And if you build project after project, you're going to see it from so many different angles and you're going to just simply be a better engineer. Even just by sheer accident and time, you will become better. And lastly, the third one, which I think is very, very important, it should be different from your day job. Too many people invest their side time into doing things for their day job. And I do think that this drives or leads to extra burnout. You're just constantly trying to build and innovate in an environment that maybe doesn't allow or really flourish with innovation. And I know it makes your life better, but at the same time, it can really be just a soul suck. I think if you do those three things, you're going to be able to define the project that's good for you. But another thing I always see is that people just ask for permission. Should I learn Go? Is Go good enough? Should I learn Rust? Is Rust too hard? Stop asking for permission. You just have to stop. Do it because you want to do it. Stop waiting for me or somebody else to tell you why you should do it. It is a disaster to get all of your direction from someone who doesn't know you. You know you. You know what excites you. So listen to that person. Because I can tell you one thing, that if you build something that just makes you excited, that brings you joy, that joy spills over. It spills over into multiple places in your life. You're just simply a happier person. You walk around a little lighter on your feet. Whereas if you're doing things all the time that you don't really enjoy, guess what? That spills over too. You're not going to treat people nearly as well. You're going to get in more fights. You're going to be perceived as a grouchy person. Because that's just how it works. Focus on the joy, the creativity, the passion of programming it will not only make you a senior engineer faster, but it's going to help prevent or remove burnout that you may be experiencing. I know, I know this is the hot take part. I told you it'd only take me a minute to get here because often I hear the answer to burnout is less programming. Take a break, take a month break, do a sabbatical, do something different. Go be a gardener. Every programmer thinks they're a farmer until they do farming for one day and they're like, ah, f that. Ah, there's a spider. Okay, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and I do understand that sometimes a break from programming is the answer, but I think it is the exception. It is not the rule. I think what leads people to burnout is just the fact they've been grinding things they don't like. You've lost the entire reason why programming went from a hobby to a full-time career. The reason why you spent nine months, two years being paid nothing to finally get a job. You lost whatever that was, and now you're getting paid. Now you're getting a salary that makes you happy, and you're doing something that's killing your soul. And so, of course, you just feel terrible. It bleeds everywhere. Find that joy again. Enjoy yourself doing something that you loved at one point. And I just guarantee you, life will somehow feel lighter. Now, this is obviously not the ultimate answer to life. This is not the meaning of life. This is just a perspective. And it's the perspective that I have because I was most certainly at this point in 2016, 2017, even parts of 2018, where it just like, I felt like everything I did was such a burden. It felt horrible. And it just like happened for so long. 
And it wasn't until I was like, all right, here, I'm just going to build something. I just want to build something on the side. That all of a sudden, it was just like my curiosity. Everything just started flooding back to me. And I just found that I enjoyed things more. I enjoyed life more. And my job didn't feel that heavy. And all of a sudden, I liked what I was doing. And all of a sudden, I started asking more questions. I started doing better at my job. I started getting recognized for that because I simply reignited what made me passionate to begin with. So it's 2023. Take the time. Invest in your creativity. Invest in passion. Invest in desire. Because motivation or just this weird feeling like you're like, I'm going to program all day doesn't just happen. You have to foster it. You have to water it. And it will die if you don't. It can also get out of control if you do. You know what I mean? It'll just take over your whole life. Next thing you know, you're an arch user. And you don't want to be single, okay? You don't want to be single, okay? The name is the Primogen. <laughs>